I, the special report has a lot of challenges. It's called for explicitly in the Paris Agreement to be delivered in 2018. That may seem like quite a long time scale, but given the thoroughness with which it needs to be put together, given the fact that it needs to draw on peer-reviewed academic literature, um, there really isn't a great deal of time to do a huge amount of additional new research um, into the specific issues of 1.5 degrees. So I would say that almost certainly um, only a subset of the huge range of issues that come with negative emissions can be dealt with um, in this report. There's of course going to be further assessment reports from the IPCC and perhaps we'll see more depth on for example, the consequences of bioenergy with CCS on other pressures on land use, such as food production. Um, so I think that there are a number of issues that probably can be delved into quite deeply over the next nine months to a year, which is, I think, when we'll see the most intense new research effort happening into 1.5 degrees and negative emissions. But I don't think that that can be comprehensive research. I think the research agenda is still so big and there are so many questions to be answered that there'll be an awful lot more that will be ongoing and needed um, even beyond the IPCC special report.